Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing on YouTube? If you're not subscribed to Newsroom Nigeria, please go ahead, click on the subscribe button down below. Join this amazing community we have here. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment section as well. That is the other section on this channel. That is where we agree to disagree, share opinions and ideas in the comment section. I will meet you there in a bit. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. What Peter will be told my child, Biafra warlord's wife, Bianca Ojuku reveals. On Friday, Bianca Ozumegwe Ojuku, a wife of late military colonel, received Peter Obi, the presidential candidate for the Labour Party, in her apartment concerning the 2023 election. The visit and matters discussed were surely connected to the aspiration of the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi. This information was published on the Facebook page of the late Bianca Warlord's wife, where she also referred to Peter Obi's visit as a homecoming. According to her, the former governor of Anambra State brought up his hopes and dreams for the country of Nigeria throughout their conversation. She said Peter Obi lamented the plight of a populace, the scarcity of employment opportunities for young people, and his goals to revitalize the economy. Bianca added that Peter Obi, Peter Obi also spoke of his ambitions to revitalize the country's manufacturing sector to reduce unemployment in the country. According to Bianca, Peter Obi made a vow to his son that he would never fail to lead the country to buoyancy when he won the election in 2023 simply because they are obedient. She said, and I quote, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party paid a consultative visit to my good self this morning at Casablanca in pursuit of his presidential project, which is making waves across the country and beyond. This was a homecoming of sorts. Okwete set out his political odyssey from his home. He spent some time discussing his hopes and dreams for this nation, he lamented the suffering of the masses, the lack of jobs for the youth, and his plans to turn the economy, the economy of the nation, around. He jokingly told my son, Nwachuku, it is mostly you young people who are obedient in this country. We are hungry for real change. I will not let you down. Please don't let us down. As we all know, it is mostly the young people you know, that are actually obedient in, the country, in this country. And I feel that these movements started as a result of, you know, it's, it's not as a result of, but an aftermath of the NSAS protest. And, you know, that was, I, I feel that that was when the youths of this country realize like it dawned on the youths of this country that they actually have the power you know they actually can make a change if they want to like that protest was really you know it really impacted you know to some extent you know we did not actually you know get all the things that the youth did not actually get all the things that they agitated for in that answers but at least we made an impact we got some with you know you win some you lose some and i feel the answers made the youth to realize the power that they wield it's made the youth to realize and wake up that hmm though we might we might not be in position we might not be you know in 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 the key positions in the country although the the, the not too young to roll is in full force but we are actually not seeing the effect you know the the youth realize that though we are not actually in power we might not be mostly in politics we might not be in position to be the president we can actually make these people do what we want to do you know we also have the right to also put the person 
that we want to be at the end of affairs, and at the end of affairs, we actually have the power to make sure that we we put a good leader in that position. We we have the power to put to make sure that we have a good leader in Astorog. I think that was when the youth of this country woke up. You know, they would they realize that hmm, this these people. <laughs> so we have this kind of power all this while. Although uh, after the NSAS, you know, there were a lot of robberies, you know, people going to the police station, releasing inmates and all that, you know, because it also exposed, you know, the, the porosity of uh, our security in this country. The soldiers, the policemen that we say we have that are protecting us, it really exposed, it exposed their weaknesses during the NSAS. But uh, if I must add, this is one of the good things that came out of, of answers, you know. When Peter Obi then decided to announce his candidate, people said, no, this man has a very good background. He has a very good antecedent. He was a former governor, and he did well during his time. Let's back this man. Let's, let, 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 let's be obedient. Like, <laughs> let's be obedient. And that was when the name obedient was coined from Obi. Although some people are still saying they are useful as well, from Yusuf, the, the, the vice presidential candidate for the Labour Party, who is an obese rights and man. You know, I just hope that um, this comes to fusion at the end of the day. And, you know, people are, this, this is just, this is it's like a starting of a revolution. It's a starting of a revolution. Uh, we might not, we might not get there this time around. They, they, they are, let's just, <laughs> we, although some people are going to argue with me and say, "Oh, why am I saying that?" Let's just be factual. Let's be, uh, let's be factual here. He, it will be might not win this time around, but I just see that this is like uh, an opening. It's just like an awareness period for him, even though it, even if, pardon me. Even if it, it it doesn't win this time around, I know the second time, the second time he has a very good chance, you know, to win. Now that everybody are now obedient, people are now aware, more aware of this, you know, revolution and this old thing that the youth are trying to do. Let me know what you all uh, think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.